Fair. Uh, my name is Nicole Polores, and I'm CISO and Lead Security and Compliance Consultant for Flipside Security. Oh, wow. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> um, so um, I'm also one of the um, founding team members. And so my position entails um, developing the company, our portfolio of services, and then also actually working one-on-one -on -one with clients uh, as relates to their compliance and security needs. So I'm definitely part of the business development side of the company, as well as I'm in the trenches with our clients in assuring that their compliance and security needs are, net, are met, or if you know they're in a situation where they require some type of remediation, um, meaning that they've been attacked by ransomware, which is a lot, we get a lot of clients um, on referral basis, specifically from ransomware attacks. Um, so I'm also one of the engineers that goes in there and is like actually doing the remediation work as well. So I actually started in cybersecurity back in 1998. At the same time, while I was at UCI studying pre-med, and I started my first, uh, com my first security consulting company in 2002 as a lead development group. And I retired the company back in, I would say, 2011, which is when I had my daughter. And I actually went back to school and worked on my, a doctorate in clinical neuroscience. So my alumni associations are both UCI and at Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. Okay, so some both formal and informal mentors are people that have really inspired me. Um, Barry, and these are local uh, professionals. Uh, Barry Carrion is one of them. I think she's one of the most amazing women in this whole world. And um, I actually got so lucky um, when I was in my 20s, when I first started my uh, First consulting company, Elite Development Group. That's when I met her. And it was just at like this really informal kind of table panel sort of discussion. And from that day on, like just her whole story and her background and her ability of like to persevere. She had a very, or not remember, but breast cancer. Um, just that's one of my both informal mentors and also heroes, if you will. Um, also, let me see, some people have really like inspired me, Condoleezza Rice. I think she's one of the most, fun. again, so those people are like, oh. like when you get those questions about who would you want to like have dinner with, I always put Condoleezza Rice. So <laughs> um, those would be just some people that have really inspired me. Um, again, very curious, I know personally, but obviously I don't know Condoleezza Rice personally. I wish I did, but I don't. Oh God, where would I begin? Persevere. No matter how hard it gets, don't ever give up. Um, believe in yourself. Surround yourself with really strong people who will lift you up and encourage you That's my life. when you're down. Um, and again, just really hold on to those friendships that you make during college. Um, and again, it's, those are the relationships that are, are going to really last a lifetime. And hopefully you'll have those into your 40s and 50s. Um, and again, too, just never, no matter how hard it gets, and regardless of your situation, you know, just never give up and just continue on. And just know that even if you're going through a rough time right now, that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. And all of us have been through difficult times. I had some horrific things happen to me while I was in school. And um, I went through a rough period, but I really had a real strong foundation and relationships both in my church and at school. And that really helped keep me going and helped me return back to school when I decided to retire, at least I called my sabbatical, um, from cybersecurity. And that helped tremendously. So again, it's, it's not easy, but if it was easy, you know, maybe it wouldn't be such a huge accomplishment. I don't know, <laughs> Actually, I wanna edit that part. 
But um, yeah, I just would really encourage you to surround yourself with strong people. Get your mentors. Um, really learn from your mentors what they personally have been through, not just what they've accomplished professionally, but also see, ask them where the mistakes that they made. And again, it's so much easier to learn from someone else's mistakes. And that's what you're going to really find in a strong mentor. They're going to share with you both their successes and the background of their hardships as well. And that's really where you want to hold on to that inspiration.